Hey everybody, it's Cutie Pug Gamer here, and this is The Everloom by Lucas Paka. I'm sorry if I butchered your name. Now, I did try to play this about five seconds ago, but I goofed, so we're playing it again. Delete saved file. Yes, okay. Didn't get very far, so nothing to worry about. Often late at night, I awake from vivid dreams. Enchanted places, bizarre creatures. I tell myself they have no consequence. They're just visions in my head. But this time, this time it was different. Oh, damn. You know what? Even seeing her for the second time, he, she, I'm not entirely sure. She's still creepy. I mean, insanely creepy. The Weaver. The black wind blows. Welcome, dreamer. For the sake of courtesy, but do not think we mean to imply choice. Welcome or unwelcome, as you choose, we have no understanding of such things. We do not know why you are here. We have only one purpose, and it does not require understanding. Upon the Everloom we weave the threads of time. Within the weave womb, we form the waves of dreams. This is our understanding. By coming here, you have stopped us from our task. We do not understand why. We can only give you time. Time and this dream to discover your fate. Do with it what you will. Use, okay, yeah. So, when I played early, I already went down this way. There's like a fiery bridge that decides it's going to throw you back. Um, and then you go over here, and there's this guy. I'm supposed to press space. Well, we're not to him yet. Okay, so, let's press space. Rich, uptight Von Wilthenson. Fats fancies himself an explorer. Like this is some bloody safari. He's been dragging me all over. A jolly lot of good it's done us, too. I'll tell you. We've anchored that dangerous-looking sphinx, and now I've lost my signet ring. Obviously, I couldn't care less about the monetary value. I'm exceedingly rich, you know. What an ass. But I have a sentimental attachment to it, and I couldn't possibly leave without it. I've already looked everywhere, but if you manage to find it, I'll reward you handsomely. I don't know if that was a man or a woman, but it's... Fats McGruff. Hmm. Monsters of madness, what? I've never been a man to complain, but if this is a dream, why can't I wake up, hmm? Something has shifted in the way things usually work. It's all very mysterious. I've been trying to figure it out, but the switch for this gate is up on those cliffs, and I'm much too fat. You don't look that fat, but okay. To go climbing up to it, I can appreciate a solid adventure, as long as it doesn't require exercise. Bahahahaha, <laughs> or braha, I don't know. Well, anyway, I've decided to give up. You should take the string I found. I was going to be clever and braid it up for climbing, but maybe you'll find better use for it. String? A string? That's... Whoa, hell no. No. Uh-uh. She's even creepier than the last one. I think we... Okay, let's go. Space. What do you... Sphinx. What a deli... Ooh. Ooh. What a delicious young man you are. Hmm. Yes. Tell me I'm pretty, you handsome boy. <laughs> Oh, yes, this is getting creepy. Hmm? You want to pass? Oh, no, 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 no. You need to solve my riddle first. What was alive before sun and moon? What is there left in an empty room? What doubts exist between twelve and noon? What do you see right after a swoon? Bring this to me or meet your doom. Was that too dramatic on the last line? You know I'd never heard a little dish like you. <laughs> well, humans are much so, uh, you know, bleh, whatever.
I'm not even, okay, that was creepy. Although I added the extra creepiness because I had to make it all like, ooh, la, la. But anyway, let's check out the other side. Oh, God, I don't know who's creepier. We got all this, and there's this. Why can't I walk on water? Oh, okay, so we definitely don't want to go that way. Oh, hey, is this Isabel? The water is so clear. And look, there's nothing down below those cliffs. I think this whole island is floating. I feel so free here, with the wind blowing and nothing but the sky in all directions. It's like this dream I used to have when I was younger. I would be flying up in the clouds with a great bunch of balloons tied to my waist. It's kind of weird. None of this is real, right? I feel like I could fly away if I jumped. But I'm just too afraid to try. Yeah, I wouldn't try if I were you. Just a heads up, because I'm pretty sure even though this is a dream, you'll die. Okay, let's get past that. I'm afraid we might not get much done in this episode, if anything at all. Um, what are these? Do these do anything? No, okay. That frog looks a little derpy, but... Martha. Poor naughty toad pad. Those cacti are full of helium. I use them to fill my, fill my airship. You might have seen it down southwest of here. Southwest is... I don't know. I'm just giving them whatever voice I want. Serves him right. I suppose I can't stay mad. He's just too adorable. Sure, he may look monstrous, but I dreamed him up all on my own. That's something to be proud of. What's that thing about monsters loving their children? Anyway, I could never leave without him, and he's too sick to fly. My mother always used to give me ice cream when I had a stomachache. But I don't have any money, and that ice cream man really clings to his merchandise, you know. I guess I'll just have to wait. Can we talk to the frog? We can. Toad pad. I feel terrible. But I ate too many. Hit water cacti now. Oh, my stomach hurts. Here, take my scythe. If I can't pick them, I can't eat them. You can now harvest water cacti if I touch them. I bet you that's what those things are. Okay, so we will leave it here. Um... This looks like it's going to be fun. It's definitely going to have to be split up in a couple of parts. But I can't wait to see you in the next ep uh, episode. Cutie Pug Gamer, in and out.